keeping an eye on those two stories. Now to this one about parents from a Southwest Miami Dade school who are outraged after AI technology was used with their daughter's face placed on naked bodies. Right. The pictures were then posted on social media. CBS News Miami's Nakaya Carrero met with some of those parents. Two boys are suspended here at Pinecrest Cove Preparatory Academy, accused of creating nude images of their classmates using artificial intelligence. But parents say more needs to be done to protect their kids. And even just my little girl alone, you know, much like the rest of the girls that are involved, she's having a hard time dealing with it. Around two dozen girls and boys fell victim to fake nude photos. It made me feel violated. It made me feel unsafe. Like, I don't want to be in a school with boys who did that because I talk to them every day. I look them in the face and they acted like they didn't do anything. Parents say two classmates took their daughter's photos from the school's social media account and put them into an app that used their faces on AI generated bodies. She's been crying. She's been, she hasn't been eating. And she's just been mentally unstable. She does cheer. She didn't even want to come to school yesterday to do it. She's very stressed out, a lot of anxiety. She's just not herself anymore. She used to be a very spirited child. Now she's very just, you know, just not the same. The two boys accused of the deep fakes are suspended for 10 days, but parents say the time doesn't fit the crime. Our daughters do not feel comfortable returning to school with these boys in the same hallways with them. We reached out to the school and heard back from the Florida Charter School Alliance. They told us administrators alerted law enforcement as soon as they heard about the incident that took place over the Thanksgiving break. An email was sent to all parents at the school, which said in part, the individuals found responsible have been disciplined in accordance with the code of student conduct. Police continue to investigate any potential criminal conduct associated with these actions. We still don't have any results from the investigation. We, the parents, haven't even seen the images that our daughters have mm -hmm. had to see. Miami-Dade police say they are working closely with the state attorney's office on this case, but parents say the boys shouldn't be allowed back. It's just something that I don't think is going to end anytime soon. It's going to keep going and going and going until we get the resolution that we're looking for, which is immediate expulsion of both these young men. We spoke with parents in the pickup line Friday afternoon here at Pinecrest Cove. Many of them tell me they had no idea about this incident. In Southwest Miami-Dade, Nakaya Carrero, CBS News, Miami.